so today is basically Hi. just hello um so we're basically done with all the material for this um so it's just a bunch of review uh, if you want to open this up in the textbook it's literally the bottom of the textbook with the last few pages uh this is review e yeah hi what are we going to do today uh we are just going to be doing review because that's all we have left and we'll is your class next week? Um, I don't believe there will be. I think we are done. After this class, there will be done? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, after this class, we'll just teach 6A? Uh... Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But for now, just work on these problems. Yeah, and what's for homework? Uh, I don't think there will be homework either. We should be able to get through all of this. Um, There is a review two. I will see what we've... Actually, I'll see. Um, So this is... Once we... once The questions that are currently uh, on the screen, that is it for the textbook. I'll see if there's anything in the workbook that we could do. Okay. So we will do these problems? Yeah. And do it our class review E? Uh, yeah, this is review E. After this, we're going to do exercise 54, and then we're going to do exercise 55. And then review three should be it. Yeah. Yeah, then what's homework? There won't be homework. What if I'm not done? Uh, I don't... You sh Okay, so you should be able to finish. So just work for now. If you don't finish, then we can talk about that if you don't finish. Okay. I feel like everyone should be able to finish pretty quickly. Because, you know, we have an hour. And then there's 20 questions here and a few more on other stuff but it's relatively easy. So send me every five questions. Well, those markets, send me questions here. Uh, we're skipping question nine because question nine is just a bad question. So send me uh, these five questions and send me four questions, then five questions and send me the last five questions. Yeah, so send me these blocks of questions when you finish the answers.
Don't forget to uh, send me the answers in uh, private. I will go over number uh numbers three uh three four and five yeah so so um pause for one second he has one four fifths he drinks one half how much does he have left four fifths can be changed into eight tenths. One half can be changed to five tenths. That means he has three tenths left. That's the answer to number three. Uh, it's five foot and he uses three fourths. That means he should have four and one fourth left. And then if he jogs three fourths in a day, eight days, you multiply it by eight. If you multiply it by eight, you can cancel it. So you get six. So those are the answers to the first, uh, three, to three, four, and five. You guys both got one and two, correct? So yeah. So yeah, move on to six through 10. Once again, we're skipping nine. If you're working in the textbook, skip number nine.
Okay, so never mind, never mind. Yeah, keep working. So I'll go over some of these questions. Uh, first off, I'm going to go over number, let me see, I got to move this out of the way. First, I'm gonna go over number six. Um, he poured 10 gallons into an empty tank and that filled five, six. So find the capacity of the tank in gallons. The answer is 12. That's because if 10 gallons equals five, six, that means two equals one, six. So 12 equals the whole. So 12 is the answer to number six. Um, Hold on. Number six is thirty eleven. Yeah, honestly, eight is just a bad question. It's very stupid, very complicated and stuff. Um, I'll go over ten. Uh, eight, it has to do with units. You don't have to know that, really. Uh, ten, ten pieces of string, each 11 inches long, are cut from its length of string 253. What's remaining? We cut off 110, because that's 10 times 11, and we took it from 253, so we subtract it, and then we get 143. Yeah, so start. Uh, so we've done up to question 10. So you can start at question 11 and send me every five questions. And I've uh, put them in little blocks to help you check that easier. So we are doing 11 to 15. Yeah, we're doing 11 to 15 right now. And after 11 to 15, we'll do 16 to 20. And then we'll move on to other things.
All right, so if you finish 11 through 15, you can move on to the last section, and I'll go over 11 through 15 when everyone sends their answers. Uh, will we do 6B, 6A, I mean? No, this class is just five. Oh, so after 5B, can we get 6A? Can we do 6A with you guys? Uh, I don't know. I might teach 6A, but, like, I'm not sure. Yeah. Because, you know, that would, like, go into summer and stuff. Okay.
What do you do when you're done? That's a good question. Um, so I have exercise. I have these written here. Uh, do you mind opening these up on like your on Google Classroom exercise mm -hmm. fifty four? Do I type it into the chat? Uh, yeah, just keep sending it in chat. Yeah, exercise fifty four now, and then exercise fifty five if you get there. Um, most people are about to finish with eleven for fifteen, so I'll go over that in a second.
All right, so we'll go over 11 for 15 now. First off, rounding 245.68. A watermelon weighs four pounds five. Pineapple weighs one pound 12. How much heavier is that just two pounds and actually two pounds and how much? Two pounds and nine ounces. Because, wait, actually, this is the power of writing it. Because there are 16, pound, uh, 16 ounces in the pound. Uh, this is just a bunch of units. I'm not going to bother solving that. Three foot seven inches divided by 14 nearest inch. Well, uh, how many inches is three foot seven inches? That's 36 plus seven, um, meaning we have 43. If we divide this by four, uh, to the nearest inch, we have 11. Um, the area of each triangle, we just multiply the base and the height and divide by two. For this one, we get 60. For this one, we get 48. Uh, now move on to, um, I'll go over, and then for 16, the first question, uh, this is 120, you just multiply the numbers, you multiply the numbers, you get 14. The volume of a tank is 1080, if the base is 72, find the height. Remember that the base is the length times the width, so that means 1080 divided by 72 is the height, because times height is what we get for volume, so we're just looking for this. Uh, 1080 divided by 72 uh, ends up being... Uh, was let me think uh i think 15 i'm gonna check that yeah so the answer is indeed i can't put this correctly okay the answer is 15 yeah so the answer is 15 um a fish tank is two-fifths full after Sarah pulled 14 in. That means one-fifth is seven, so that means the total is 35. Last few questions are, once again, just converting stuff, so I don't have to go over it because all the questions are basically the same. Uh, so now we're going to move on to exercise 54. Exercise 54 is incredibly short. It is just two questions. Send me the answers when you finish this. Uh, and if you finish this, I will actually send... Uh, I will also put an exercise 55. So you can send all these answers at once if you'd like. Uh, my computer is by, so I can't load it in. Oh, you can't load what part? Can you not, can you not see the screen share? Is no, this I mean the exercise twenty-four and twenty. No, it's fifty-four 50. and fifty-five. Yeah, this is a, on the left is exercise fifty-four, and the middle is exercise fifty-five. Oh, I just can't load in the textbook. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, I'm posting stuff on the screen now. So yeah, exercise fifty-four and fifty-five, and after this, there's a bunch of super easy questions, and then we're basically done.
Could I have a question? What's your question? Claire? So we are not having class next week? Yeah. Yeah. And what do we do after exercise 55? Uh, I will go over 54 in just a second. Um, some people are still working on 55. After you finish exercise 55, um, you can open up the workbook. And at the bottom, we're doing review three. Uh, I know Alan was having trouble with his computer. So, Alan, I will post the first few questions for you here. Thank you. After Rufi workbook is done also? After we finish the workbook, we're done. Like, yeah. Um, here are the first of these five questions, and then I'm moving exercise 55 then as well. Uh, I'll go over exercise 54 now. So for now, everyone just like focus on my screen share and then you can work on exercise 55 order review depending on what you're on. Uh, rectangular, let's see. 12 by 11 by 10, what is the height? Okay, so. After 240 inches of water are taken out, well, water always remains level, right? So we find the base, the base is 120. And so that means if we're taking out 240, that's two times 120, two is the height. So we'd be removing two. That means we are left with nine because nine plus two is 11 and we're move, removing two inches from height because two times 12 times 10 is 240. So the answer is nine for question one in exercise 54. Um, yeah, you gotta, be, you, gotta be, you gotta be careful what they're asking. The answer is actually nine because you're not solving for the volume of anything, you're solving for the height of the water which is nine after you move to. Uh, the next question, 40 times 25 times 15. Uh, after two liters of water are taken out, what's the new height? So uh, once again, um, we're gonna be doing, it's the same, basically, basically the same problem. Two liters equals 2000 centimeters cubed. And the base is uh, 1000. So if we're taking out 2000 and the base is 1000, that means the height is two. And so 15 minus two equals 13. So the answers are 13 and nine uh, for the two height questions. So you gotta be careful you know what they're asking. Uh, these are the next few questions, one through five on the review, and then one, two on exercise 55. What if we are not done with review three? Uh, then if we're done with, if you're not done with review three, it's fine, we're just gonna end class because it's just review, right? It's, it's, it's not new material. Yeah, so we don't have homework. We don't, after this, uh, after we, depending on, okay, so in 15 minutes, you'll be done. Like, also we'll see how much we can get through in 15 minutes, but after 15 minutes, we're basically Is done. it question one to nine, only nine questions? Oh, uh, no, there's more questions, but I don't have space to post them. I'll keep them on all on the screen. So uh, actually I can post a few more. I'll move exercise 55 over here and I'll also post 10 through 14. Yeah, after, after this, will we have to do homework this week? No, we're after, okay. Um, in fi after 15 minutes, you're done with the class, basically. There's no more classwork, no more homework. We're basically finished. Okay, so no homework this week. No homework, no homework. And we will be finished this week. We will be finished, exactly. So there won't be any class? Uh, any not for... Not for Singapore, not, not for the level five. Level six still has some more material to get through. Okay. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna be Is honest. Are you teaching level six? Um, so I'm teaching two classes right now, a level five and a level six. Um, I'm not teaching level six for this level five class, but I'm teaching a level six class already, which I started a few months ago. It's actually pretty funny. Um, I started the level six class before the level five class. I think it was like one week before, but um, 
I don't think we're going to be finished with the level six class until next month because there's a lot more material in level six. When will we start level six class? Well, um, you, I, I might teach level six. I'm not sure about that. I might teach level six, but as of the moment, I have no plans to do so for for this level five class. So after you finish level five, um, I might teach level six, but I'm not. I'm not really sure about that. For now, uh, yeah. For now, it's just a level five and uh, level six at the same time. Will there be like another level five class? That means like do I restart it? I'm I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. It's not because like you know this is all volunteer, so I'm not really sure. Because like I work. I don't know. If, I volunteer for junior coach, right? But like, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So I, I like share the Zoom account with a bunch of people. And I do know they teach other, like someone's teaching a level one class and someone's teaching like a level oh. four class. So it's all over the place. I'm not sure how they schedule it. Oh. Is it okay we don't finish all of this in time? Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Just try to get through as much as you can. So I forgot how to do the balls in a jar thing or something. Like, you put an iron ball. Yeah, so when, uh, first of all, uh, okay, so for, for yeah, exercise 55. I'll quickly... to go. Sorry, what did you say? I kind of forgot that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. So it doesn't matter if it's a ball or if it's a rock. It doesn't matter what it is. Just know that when you put an object in, um, if the volume of the object is the amount of water it displaces. So it doesn't matter if it's a ball. It doesn't matter if it's like a star. It could be like a rectangle. It doesn't matter. But um, I'll just go over these two questions. So 20 by 15 by 13, the water rose by three. So how much water did it displace? Well, that's basically the amount of water that's like... Give me a sec, pen basically the amount of water just right here, just that top, top layer of water, which is 20 times 15 times three, which is equal to 45 oh. times 20, which is 900. So if a volume is 900, because the amount the water rises is only three centimeters in, in height, but the volume of the water that it rose can be used to count the rock. To give like a visual demonstration, if I had a beaker, oh. uh, like there, there's, like the, there's like the fable with like the crow or something, I don't remember, but it's about like a bird that's a bad, there's like a bird or something. And the bird, there's like a lot, there's a tall glass with water in it. And the bird wants the water, but the bird can't reach the water. So if a bird puts a bunch, a bunch of rocks in, which causes the water to flow out, right? And that's how it gets it. And so that's this water displacement. And these problems rely on like putting objects in and right, raising the height. Oh, thanks. Will you teach six? Uh, Alex, once again, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure because, like, I don't. I'm not in charge of all of this. The uh, the people at Junior Coach are. I just volunteer. You like the headquarters at Singapore? That's why it's called Singapore. No, no, no. Um, Singapore. So, the Junior Coach program. I've I've no idea where it's located. Honestly, I just know that what I teach is Singapore math. But Junior Coach offers like a lot of stuff. Like you can learn piano. You can learn like uh, Rubik's cube solving. You can learn like uh, you can learn all sorts of things. But for the math program, at least, I think they use Singapore math, which is probably based in Singapore. Oh, yeah.
All right, so I'm going to go over number two now. Um, 20 times 10 times 12, and the water level drop, find the volume of the stone. Once again, the, uh, the volume that the stone displaces is like the water level, so this part right here. And so how much did it change? Well, it was 12, and then it went to 10, or it was 10, and it went to... It was 12, but when the stone left, it went to 10. So the stone caused 2 times base times, so times 20 times 10, meaning that the stone is 400. Okay, so uh, I think this is going to be it for class. Um, as I already said, there's not going to be any homework because we are done. Uh, it was great teaching you all. I'm going to be posting something in the classroom soon. Um, what are you going to post in the classroom? Uh, it's not. It's not homework. It's just like a, a summary of what we did. Oh, okay. Yep. So that is yeah. That should be it. Mm -hmm. It was great See teaching you. Time. Sorry, what did you say? See you next time. If there's a next time, I'll see you. Yep. See you yep. next week. Yeah, I'll see you, Alan. All right, well. We great won't teaching. have class next week. Oh, uh, Alan is in the upper class as well. This is the last class, right? It, yes, it's the last class for Singapore. Uh, for um, Singapore. Uh, five, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys. See you. Uh, if I teach enough for class, I will see you all. If you guys decide to take that one as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye.